having got the goal, goes again. Just freshen up the closing stages of Scotland goal, that's for sure. Robertson and Russell combine again. Robertson! There is the goal! And with eight minutes to go, it's game on. Andy Robertson. Well, what a good piece of link up play, isn't it? He never watches the pass, Andy Robertson. He's always following it. Lovely ball in here, Russell, screaming for it back, one touch enough to beat Fraser Foster at his near post. Mr. he slipped past Campbell, Hutchinson in the middle here, and it's, yes it's it, from Hutchinson, and Scotland have the goal, but it's brought them right back into this playoff, Don Hutchinson. And he saw Campbell commits himself, and this is cool, calm play from Neil McCann, Great ball in, he's allowed the, the runner, Don Hutchison, to get the momentum above Tony Adams. Never easy to outjump that man. And he got enough on it to beat David Seaman. Billy Dodds, he's just been putting uh, David Seaman off there as well. But that's a goal that's well deserved for Scotland. He's delivered into a good area, well back heads away. James Morrison crying out to be hit, and he's hit it through hard, and Scotland lead at Wembley. James Morrison of West Bromwich Albion. Hart may have been unsighted. And he couldn't keep out Morrison's drive. 11 minutes played, and Gordon Strachan's team are in front. There's a dispossessing momentarily, Hutton's cross. Miller trying to make something of it, he's found some space. Kenny Miller, that's a terrific goal. He's 33 years of age, Kenny Miller now. But he has never forgotten the way to go. That's a truly outstanding effort. And Scotland lead again. Stunning goal, that is. I mentioned in the first half about how honest he is. Well, that shows you the quality he possesses as well. That is a brilliant goal. If Joe Hart can or maybe feel the first one, he should have done better with. He's not getting anywhere near this one. Jordan and McFarland. Oh, Jordan left him. Good play by the big Scottish striker. Problems here for England. Dalgleish. And Clements' day is now complete. A total disaster. The ball went right through his legs. Gray outside on his left. And the fella coming across to challenge. Alan Ball. Just enough. Steen up beautifully. What a goal. What a beautiful goal by Colin Steen. How oh, that man climbed up in the air there. Tremendous goal by Colin Steen. But let's not forget the number 11. And there's Billy Brenda running away over to this side of the field to give his congratulations to the bloke who made it, Eddie Gray. There he is, number 11, on his debut for Scotland. The fellow that has set this one up. So it's 2 1 now. Great chance to get back in the game here with Sunas, who scores. 12 minutes into the second half, it's 2 1. It's breathed new life into Scotland and their supporters. Well, the skipper took the responsibility. Good firm shot. Rioch versus Clements. And it's there for Scotland. Well, that's one of the coolest penalties you'll see at Wembley. He actually did a dummy there. Look at that for coolness. A dummy, a stop, a run forward, and perfectly placed by Bruce Rioch. Scotland running out of time here. Griffiths takes and scores his first goal for Scotland. And what a time to get it, what a way to get it. 1 1. There was absolutely no doubt that he was the man that was going to take it. He placed it.
the ball. The sun was in his eyes. I have to say, it's a good strike. Suddenly, England are rocking. Armstrong still having a look. It slightly favours the right footer here, but Griffiths, having got the goal, goes again! Oh! It's astonishing! It's Lee Griffiths! Two goals, two fabulous free kicks. Catch him if you can. Catch Scotland if you can. I've not seen a celebration in a football ground like this for a long, long, long time. 